Hey everyone, and welcome to Cooking with Colorado Potatoes. I'm Chef Jason Morse for my friends at Colorado Potatoes. I'll tell you, very excited today because I'm making one of my uh, most amazing comfort food dishes, potato bacon chowder. Three words that bring a smile to everyone. This is gonna be super easy to make. Uh, you're gonna be able to adjust it how you like, right? With a little more seasoning or level of thickness that you want. So uh, let's dig in, let's talk ingredients, let's get cooking. Our ingredients today are very simple uh, because it doesn't take a lot to make a delicious soup. We're starting off with some thick cut applewood bacon. Uh, we went ahead and diced that up so it's nice and small, uh, rendering the fat and kind of melting in. We have a small sweet yellow onion. We went ahead and diced that small as well. Then we have four uh, medium sized Colorado russet potatoes. That's gonna give us a lot of flavor. Speaking of flavor, we're gonna add some crushed garlic. Italian herbs. We're gonna season it with cracked black pepper and salt. And then today we're gonna to use some chicken stock and some heavy cream to give it uh, flavor, viscosity, and make it nice and smooth. Now, garnishes today, absolutely next level. We have some potato shoestrings we're gonna put on top some cheddar cheese, and some sliced green onions. Now, we're gonna use a little bit of flour today in this while we saute the onions and the bacon, uh, incorporating some of that fat and also making roux. So we're gonna make this a one pot soup. Let's dig in, show you how we get started. Okay, we've got our pan all heated up and we are ready to add our bacon. Now, we're gonna go ahead and stir this bacon up and cook it until it starts to render, approximately five minutes. Here we are right after five minutes. We'll go ahead now and add those onions. We're gonna saute the onions in the bacon now for another five minutes. Okay, here we are right after another five minutes. Bacon looks great, onions look great. Time to go ahead and add all of our potatoes as well. We're gonna stir these up, go ahead and saute them for five minutes as well. Here we are right after that five minutes of sauteing the potatoes, it is time to add the flour. So we're gonna just carefully, carefully sprinkle in two tablespoons of flour like so, and now it is time to uh, mix the flour. And the flour, the fat, are all gonna combine together to become part of our roux to help thicken this. So we'll stir this up here real quick, come back, show you what we're gonna do next. Time to go ahead and season this up. I'm gonna add just a little bit of black pepper, about a, I don't say, teaspoon. We're gonna add a little bit of Italian herbs. You do that to taste. And then we'll go ahead and add in our garlic as well. We'll mix this in uh, and let that garlic soften. And then it'll be time to come back and add the stock. Now we'll go ahead and add in our chicken stock. We wanna get that in there. We're gonna add a quart and a half of chicken stock and we'll go ahead, stir that in before we get ready to add the heavy cream next. Chicken stock has been added. We are good to go. Now it is time to add our quart of heavy cream. And I'll tell you what, this looks absolutely delicious. Now that we've added the chicken stock and the cream, what we're gonna go ahead and do is bring this to a simmer and we're gonna simmer it uncovered uh, until those potatoes are nice and tender. We're looking at probably 10 to 15 minutes. We'll come back and show you what the potatoes look like when we're ready to uh, do a little tenderness check. Here we are right after 10 minutes and I wanted to just do a quick doneness check. So you can see I've pulled a spoon of the potatoes out and I'm checking them with my paring knife. Not quite yet. We'll go ahead and let this go for another five minutes uh, and then we'll come back and adjust it for seasoning. After 15 minutes, time to uh, add some salt. I tasted it and it wasn't too far off. It needs just a little. So we'll go ahead and add some of that beautiful Malden and we're gonna add just a little bit more black pepper as well. Now we'll go ahead and mix this up, let it go for just another two minutes and then we are ready to serve, garnish and devour. Okay, potatoes are nice and tender. It is as thick as we want it to be uh, with those two tablespoons of flour. Time to uh, dish this up and I will tell you, <laughs> this does not disappoint at all. Look at that, oh, absolutely perfect. Now, we'll go ahead and set this to the side and it is time to garnish. So I like a nice pile of those shoestrings right in the middle to give that soup just a little bit of crunch. And then we'll go ahead and hit some cheese on top finish it up with those green onions. That right there is soup perfection. There you have it, about 30 minutes to make some incredible soup. And the best part about it is, this is great for winter comfort food. This is good in the middle of the summer. 
It's even amazing to put in a mug, take out on your tractor or when you're doing some lawn duties at home. Now, last thing to do is a little quality control. But before that, be sure to follow us here on YouTube on all of our social media channels so you can get more amazing videos and recipes from your friends at Colorado Potatoes. I'm Chef Jason. Time for that ever so important quality control. I'm taking this one for the team. Cheers.